Hey there everyone, That Sexy Nerd is back again! And we're watching Casual Geographic, and <laughs> I'm not even gonna guess what the hell, actually, what, what has he got here? What, what has he got? He's got the top 10 animals with Black Force energy. So I don't even know where to put this. I, I, am I gonna put this with CJ to champ, or, or what? <laughs> Yeah, man, uh, I, I'm, I'm so excited. These episodes come out, I love how they come out like once a week or once twice a week and they still feel like like that. It's great. But who knows, maybe I'll get something right in this video too. <laughs> but uh, hopefully there's not too much chimp torture in here, that's all I'm saying. And uh, with that out of the way, please like and subscribe if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content. Let's do this thing, y'all. Oh. What the? <laughs> and he's just staring at him. Black Air Force Energy. Good old Urban Super Dictionary Mario. defines it as a 64. person or an object that has insane potential and is crazy enough to deal with anything without fear or hesitation, regardless of moral definition? alignment, including its own rivals or competitors. And despite clearly taking grammar lessons from NBA Youngboy, I'd say whoever wrote that was pretty on point. It's a term I use a lot in my videos without really explaining exactly what it is. So here's a full list of the top 10 animals with the most Black Air Force energy. Whoa. Some animals are an obvious pick, others might just surprise you. <laughs> but they've all earned their spot, including the animal at number 10, which might have the least cloud of any animal on this list, but that's only because it's found one place in the world. Because if this bird were airdropped across the globe, it'd definitely be more known for all the wrong reasons. Magpie? Starting off is what happens when an animal is too smart for everyone else's quality of life. The Kia is a large oh. parrot that can be found terrorizing the people of New Zealand. And don't let it fool you, this oh. black air force with a Grinch colorway is an one. op in every way. They're highly intelligent mm -hmm. and armed with a hook-shaped beak, Seriously. which is the perfect tool for Kias to inflate insurance by picking apart cars. You see, the Kia is smart enough to associate people and the cars we drive with food, which is why this anti-mechanic is famous for committing what? the cutest carjackings you'll ever see. That's of course, so they don't bad. just stop at cars. This feather felon will go through purses, backpacks, duffel bags, and swipe anything they can fly away with. Oh. There was even a case where this airborne pirate stole the passport of a Scottish man that didn't want to be identified. Because no one wants to be remembered for getting denied from your home country because you got your passport pickpocketed by a panhandling parrot. Well, it happened to him and it can happen to you, but guess what? If you happen to get your wallet snatched and try to see the Kia about it, be prepared to also eat a several thousand dollar fine and even jail time. Really? Kias are protected by the government because it only makes sense that something with wings would be above the law. <laughs> and it's almost like every Kia knows it and acts accordingly. But it's not just humans getting griefed. Kias will regularly raid other birds' nests and make omelets with their unborn children. And they'll use that Swiss Army knife of a nose to remove parts of a living sheep to eat. And there have oh. been reports of them victimizing dogs and even horses. But at least the oh. Kia isn't a legitimate physical threat to people. The next animal's responsible for putting more zookeepers on workers' comp than any other animal. You have in your ears. The African wilderness has some of the most ways to F around and find out per square mile in the world. So it makes sense that living in the most dangerous area codes in the world has turned zebra. the zebra into an actual <laughs> psychopath. This oppressed Oreo horse has oh, the strongest kick in the animal kingdom. Wow. Strong enough for Marty to have written Alex out of the sequel. Which is why, even though lions body them often, every once in a while a lion has to explain to his ancestors how he got flatlined by a high strung quality donkey. I've but the generational that. anxiety of being constantly hunted means the zebra will often one-shot something for existing too close to it. There's two reasons why you won't see a person riding a zebra. One, they're too small. And two, every zebra is fundamentally a bastard to its core. Yeah. No, like, literally. Because many mother zebras will actually mate with as many males as possible, because if she's showing and he suspects it's not hers, he'll violently press her until it's terminated. And wow. if the baby's already out, that's just an invitation for him to demote her from mother to ah, I've seen that video. And going back to humans, zebras are infamous for allegedly putting as many zoo staff in the ER as any Whoa. other animal. They may look like Holy horses crap. whose favorite part of her birthday is the finger painting station. Yo, did you see that? He was dragging him across the... <laughs> that is terrible. But this panda pony's liable to paint the block with your insides if you breathe it in the wrong way. Yeah. Treat one like a barnyard animal and negotiate your left hand. No. And because no. zebras are genetically closer to donkeys than horses, calling it the ass of Africa is a scientifically accurate title. And as the default protein of many of the landlords of the savannah, it's a title they hold with pride. Watch it for the crocodile! it's the best one they can get. Oh. Percent off is also what you can expect if you treat this barcode horse as a petting zoo. Yeah. But at least they have the excuse of constantly being plotted on. The next animal has less excuses but more disrespect. <laughs> Deer Love managed to video, cause billions game. of dollars in damage a year by playing freeze tag with cars, and that ironically makes him the most dangerous animal in America. Yeah. But where blissful ignorance makes deer a threat, the deer of Down Under initiate conflict. 
Nine out of 10 car accidents in kangaroos. Australia involve kangaroos, and a good number of them are premeditated and not Whoa. by the driver. Kangaroos assault vehicles with enough regularity to Whoa. commit insurance. Oh my god, look at him, look at him go! Oh shit! <laughs> Kangaroos will regularly beef with inanimate objects, but it's not just a bluff. These are some brolic marsupials, armed with claws, <laughs> but more importantly, a sharp dagger of a toenail. See, there's another reason why I'll never go to Australia. Look at that. Did you, you're, you're telling me. All you Australians are always telling me, oh, oh, so much, so, so very, um, it's the safest place. That kangaroo just jumped out of a person's car. What is wrong with you people? Which is why it's not a kangaroo's punch you have to worry about. the hell? About, but that Jurassic pedicure is that a oh. It's what makes their sparring sessions so lethal. That and the fact that kangaroos start every day with the specific goal of inconveniencing as many life forms as possible. Oh if you happen God. to fly a drone in kangaroo country, prepare to have your insurance tested. In fact, it's not a stretch to say they hate anything that flies. Oh no. Can you imagine how ridiculous this could have gotten? Imagine people thinking you died paragliding when really you survived but got mobbed by a pack of royal rabbits. Oh my god, look at the kangaroos! There's really no good reason for this. You see, as dangerous as Australia is, there aren't really any dominant apex land predators. While kangaroos yeah, often contend dingo. with dingoes and the occasional wedge tailed eagle, a full grown kangaroo doesn't have much that can threaten it, other than a bigger kangaroo. So, my working theory is they got cocky. And until nature airdrops some uh, bears or maybe some type the of cat, kangaroos are still gonna be out here thinking they can do whatever. Try yeah. to change their mind at your own risk. As on-site as these malicious macropods are, they're not even the most disrespectful animal in Australia. And believe me, we'll get to that. Yeah. See, again, Australia, it's proving the big me. Big five proving refers to, to the top five most dangerous animals to hunt in Africa. These include the elephant, the rhinoceros, the lion, the leopard, and an animal so feared it's been nicknamed Black Death. The African yeah. cave buffalo is a walking attempted homicide case armed with a pair of horns to make most attempts successful. They have one of the highest KD ratios against humans with guns. In some places, these tanks with road rage and 50% of the people they go after, and a lot of that is because they will actively seek revenge. There have been stories of one buffalo murking the same hunter that took out a member of its own herd. Good. And whether you're a lion or a hunter, these trench cows get it back in the world. The scariest version of a cave buffalo is one that's already been injured. Hunters yeah. have followed a mortally Angry wounded one. buffalo into thick brush only for the freight train with legs to circle back and ambush them from behind. Which is why the number one rule when hunting K buffalo, assume you only have one shot because that's usually all you get. Mm. But it's not just humans getting bodied. Bloodlusting buffalo will seek out unsupervised lion cubs and log them out of life before they can grow up to be a threat. Not like the adults aren't at risk either. Capes will stalk and circle lone lions using the threat of gang violence to give Mufasa a roommate. Which is how the same apex predator that can oh, solo yeah. most hyenas can get sent up a tree like a yep. house cat. <laughs> They're like the Liam Neeson of animals. Wrong them and they make their life's mission to co-sign your obituary. That first hit was self-defense. Everything after that was a personal choice. And even though experienced oh, lions can lion. take them down, it's still very much a gamble. Especially since they can travel in herds of hundreds. That's also how they earned the nickname Widowmaker. Because right now there's at least one woman on Tinder because her husband decided to hunt a one ton vibe check while the buffalo decided that would be the day he'd finally live up to his nickname. Wow. It's a murderous mammal, but like the zebra, it's often just self defense gone way too far. Not like the antics of the next animal. Don't you just love how he's using all these video game tracks? It's great. It's great. It's making me so nostalgic. I don't even know what that, that last one was from. Let me know in the comment section if uh, you recognize that track, because I, 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 it's bugging me from where, uh, where I, uh, where I know that from. The do 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 do. I feel like I should know it. If you're talking about the Black Air Force of the sky, you're probably talking about crows. Uh, or really man. just corvids in general. Crows yeah. are smart enough to manipulate their environment to their advantage. But they're also devious enough to manipulate Ooh, other cat. animals for their own sadistic pleasure. I don't know what that crow Ooh. said to that cat, but it certainly involves someone's mother. Ravens uh. will weaponize their relationship with wolves to call out hits <laughs> on competing coyotes. Yep. Crows in Tokyo have especially that. become a problem where they've basically gone to war against the entire human population. But it's not just humans getting bullied. There might not be a worse time to be an owl than in broad daylight surrounded by a murder of crows. Yeah. Not to mention crows will often raid the nests of other birds for a disturbingly literal kid's meal. Aww. And that's when they're not just straight up snatching miners Stop with the duck! Birds. No, they not the baby duck! The spirit animal. They'll regularly mob and harass other birds until they drop the food they've already caught. Uh -huh. And crows won't hesitate to beat on much larger birds of prey. Which well. might explain why they do the exact same thing with humans to get them to surrender whatever calories they have on them. But the avian onslaught peaks out <laughs> with the magpie. Australian magpie. Yep. Now turns out they're not actually Actually Corvids. They actually sit closer to another bird with psychopath tendencies. Either way, Australia. 
<laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know, that bird actually takes uh, insects, and, I mean, not its prey, and impales them on, on thorn bushes. It, it's disgusting. It's almost extinct, though, so we don't get to see that that much anymore. But there was a there was a show called um, the Animals of Farthing Wood, where there were like baby mice born, and this random bird just out of nowhere kidnapped them and impaled them on the damn thorn bushes. It was brutal, like really, really brutal for a kid show. Alien magpies managed to be the most feared thing in a country seasoned with crocs, cassowaries, and snakes. And while most wildlife is harmless as long as you respect their space, the earth is their space and they have yeah. no patience for trespassers. To the point where many Australians have taken to wearing helmets to protect themselves from the magpies malicious intent. Wow. Especially during swooping season where magpies will relentlessly attack anything that gets near their nest. The hell? Actual human lives have been lost to this goth Tweety's tantrums. What the hell Australia? Can remember faces, once you've been swooped you can expect the same treatment next year. I think Tirzu said it best, corvids are what would happen if you gave monkeys wings. But at least in the mm. magpies case, they're only legitimate threats to a human way of life for the roughly six weeks of swooping season. Next animal is one of the biggest dangers to humans all year round. Really? Oh, look at that lion. Look at that it lion. It's really only a matter of time hippo. before the river rhino made yeah. an appearance. Widely considered the world's oh, deadliest river horse. Animal, you may have noticed that hippos weren't included in the big five, and I have to assume that's because nobody that has a desire to see the next day would actually hunt them. Arguably, no animal has a harder working PR team than a hippopotamus. First of all, it's not the goofy lard donkey it lets you think it is. A thin subcutaneous fat layer means hippos actually walking units. And Whoa. despite their awkward appearance, hippos can outpace any human over short Yo, distances that that is on land and in water, where they somehow fast. become even more territorial. Mm -hmm. Hippos have been known to lower the census totals of other animals for seemingly no reason. Just when an antelope thinks it's been bailed out, the slaughter horse does origami with its spine. And even though they're supposed to be herbivores, every once in a while they'll give in to the temptation of tasting the flesh of their victims. Cannibalism is not off the table. Science doesn't really know why exactly they do this, but science doesn't account for an animal just being a dick. Few predators will press this obese water pig, and those that do, do so at their own risk. Hippos are so carnage happy that the biggest threat to a baby hippo is a bigger, meaner bull hippo. It's how a hippo baby shower can legitimately Aww. end in a rain of flesh confetti. That's now to terrible. be fair, plenty of animals resort to infanticide. Hippos are just really mean about it. Like I said, nobody's PR team works harder. Except maybe yeah, dolphins. Yeah. Which makes sense since despite resembling ungulates like warthogs and rhinos, the hippos to whales. living relatives are actually cetaceans like dolphins and whales. Mm -hmm. But instead of making it out in the ocean, hippos decided to make a living griefing everything in its area code. And I didn't even mention the way they claim that area code. Yeah! What the hell? Oh! No, if you're unsubscribed right now, I wouldn't blame you. The only thing that can make this whale Karen more of a menace oh, than it already run, is you motherfucker, run! Right? Run! <laughs> then again, that would literally make it an animal further down this list. Oh God, that is scary. My personal bias was not going to keep the elephant yeah. off this list. As much as I love them, elephants, elephants can be a nice. devastating combination of smart Watch enough to do anything and big bitch. enough to get away from <laughs> oh! Asian elephants especially get themselves into trouble by raiding villages and emptying out their rice supply. Which is why Asian elephants are responsible for the bulk of human hashtags. Especially since they can really? be just as vengeful as the Cape Buffalo. Earlier really? this year, a man in Thailand had an elephant working hauling wood in the brutal heat. Which is illegal. And apparently the elephant knew his rights because he proceeded to rip his boss in half. Good! And of course, we gotta address the uh, the elephant. Better than that. One <laughs> elephant traveled over a hundred miles to murk a seventy-year-old woman collecting water, only to pull up to her funeral to attack the soul evicted body. This time in front of her family. Holy the biggest sh mystery of mankind is what motivated a four-ton pachyderm to pack up an elderly woman twice. Yeah, if she he had was a reason. Abusive, I bet. It's not like he's gonna tell us. Elephants rank over hippos because where hippos commit war crimes in the heat of passion. When an elephant catches a body, you can almost be certain it was premeditated. And it's in populations that have been fragmented by poaching, where young male elephants are really fly away. <laughs> and bull elephants are already pretty high sh- <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that was bad, but that was, that was too well timed. She just kicked the shit out of that guy. I, well, I hope he's all right. Strong as it oh, is, no. but they oh, managed to get baby. worse. The community's decimated. Pop into the baby. Handle. And bull elephants are already pretty high strung as oh it is. Oh my god! But they managed to get worse in communities decimated by poaching. 
to the point where three elephants in South Africa were responsible for deleting 63 rhinos as well as charging at people. I've heard of that. Now, to I've be heard fair, of that. poaching typically targets older bulls, and research shows that without old heads around, younger male elephants go into must a lot sooner than they should. Mm. Which I get. What I don't get is why that has to involve turning a rhino from a tight end to a wide out. What you have to remember is that elephants are intelligent enough to experience every human emotion like compassion, empathy, and pain. Whoa! But for every headline like this, you might get a headline like this. And if elephants wore shoes, they'd rock oh. the biggest black air forces the world has seen. But that's only because the next animal what? on this list. Leave the tortoise alone! One of the biggest injustices Dolphin. of cinema was that where dolphins got cast as a lovable flipper, sharks got typecast as Jaws. Dolphins are the most disrespectful beings in the ocean. Makes sense because they're basically intelligent high oh. They regularly bully sharks, use fish heads and live eels as marital aids, commit unprovoked acts of porpoiseide, all while letting humanity think they're the good guys. They have mating practices so brutal that I probably can't even talk about them. Just know that what dolphins like to do to each other, guidelines might try to do to me. But we can't talk about dolphins without talking about you the biggest the dolphin of all. The they Orca is the most book. dominant apex wow. predator on the planet that isn't human. And as if sheer size and intelligence wasn't enough, they typically hunt in pods with the coordination of a wolf pack. Which wow. is how this oppressive sea oreo regularly griefs the tankiest Mickey animals whale. on the planet. They're such a force that great whites have been known to abandon hunting grounds for up to a year once this steroid quality guppy makes an appearance. Wow. Probably because they've been known to use the shark's biology against them to rob them of their heart and liver just to leave the rest of the shark to sink to the abyss. That's usually and then them. Yeah. Yeah. Orcas often practice their craft oh. on other animals. Which is why if you ever feel bad about penguins getting bullied by seals, I suggest you see what happens when a Navy SEAL joins the Air Force. And while you could chalk this up to hunting strategy, there's also the chance that living life on Roku difficulty means orcas get bored and just start trying yeah. stuff. And while it's true a wild orca is never taking out a human, that hasn't stopped them from actively messing with human vessels with disturbing regularity. Really? It's like they know who's ruining the ocean and adjust their behavior accordingly. Either way, orcas are the humans of the sea and anything that this. steps to them gets reminded expeditiously. That's Even crazy. moose of all things. Moral of the story, Free Willy should have been put on parole. The only thing more yeah. black air force than an animal that griefs everything around it would be an animal that commits atrocities against its own kind. And that's why orcas are only number three. Yeah. So I don't think they do. They don't, they love each other. Ask any zookeeper what animal they fear the most. If they oh, don't chimpanzee. Say chimps, they've never worked with mm -hmm. them. There the it is. The common misconception is that chimps are five times stronger than the average man. And while wow. the number is actually closer to 1.5, chimps have more fast twitch muscles, a stronger bite force, and a stronger grip force. Their ability to use tools is fascinating to watch. Until you realize that means they're able to create and use weapons. People often forget that chimpanzees are pack hunting predators able to execute oh, attacks. What the hell is going on there? Bear, that doesn't just apply to their prey. Chimps in Luongo National Park have been documenting attacking families of gorillas and murking any helpless offspring they can get their hands on. Literally no animal safe from the violent tendencies of the furious George. But it's the damage they inflict against their own kind that puts them over the top. Chimp casualties often share the same injuries, a disfigured face, missing fingers if not entire hands, and a non-consensual neutering. Chimps seem to have an understanding of what's important to an animal and they go out of their way to remove it. It's why I can show you this picture and you'll understand. And it's why instead of organ donor, I have, if ever maimed by a chimp, just let me die on my driver's license. Mm -hmm. And it's also why you probably have a better chance of surviving being locked in a room with a lion oh my than god, in a room with what a furry is chimp this? Oh my god! The fact that a chimp can get put six feet under by members of its own troop guarantees them a spot on this list. The only way an animal could beat that is if something was enough of a menace to be a legitimate threat to itself. And that's exactly what number one is. But before we reveal number one, here's some honorable mentions. Oh. The Canadian goose. Yeah. For having the most irrational confidence of any animal. <laughs> they actually almost went extinct and now they revolve their entire existence around punishing humanity for it. <laughs> swans. Because what geese think they are, swans always Stop it, stop them. it with the swans! Wolverines. Because they're more than capable of hunting for themselves, but they'd rather tax animals three times their size for a living. Wow. Meerkats. For being quite literally the most homicidal mammals on the planet. Mm. And now at number one to absolutely no one's surprise, the honey badger, yeah. the most unapologetically disrespectful creature on earth. I have an entire video dedicated to the I gotta watch of the steroid skulls, but here are some highlights. They'll regularly pinch food from leopards and then throw a tantrum if they get caught. They'll take on packs of animals that realistically should be able to one-shot them. But the Oreo weasel has plot armor in the form of crackhead courage. They'll raid the hives of African bees, the same bees that are 10 times meaner and sting 10 times more than their European cousins. Mm -hmm. And honey badgers aren't immune to bee stings. They're resistant, but enough stings will flatline a honey badger. They but just don't a honey care. badger if he cares. He won't answer, but he you won't care. Answer. These prison ferrets also run fades with highly venomous Damn. cobras. 
If they manage to get bitten, they'll just slip into a cobra-induced coma and then wake up hours later and walk it off like a Sunday morning hangover. Even the honey badger's idea of self-defense is as offensive as you can get. As in, they'll reverse their anal pouches inside out and release a smell so pungent it can allegedly paralyze attacking bees. Ew. And honestly, any animal that religiously attacks the baby makers of others is a different tier of menace. No other badger represented this better than Stoffel, who once escaped from his enclosure and picked a fight with a neighboring family of lions who nearly mauled him to death. What? After about two months in the hospital, the first thing the affiliated ferret did fresh out was go right back at the same lines to settle the score. And that was only one of the hundreds of times Stoffel managed to raise the blood pressure of the people Ooh, around him. Shit. Here's the real kicker. Stoffel was actually hand raised by humans at a young age and therefore imprinted on them. He had no intention of ever leaving. The whole thing was just a game to him. Because if blatant disrespect were a sport, they still wouldn't play it because anything involving rules goes against a honey badger's belief system. But that's gonna do it for this video. For more consistent content, be sure oh, to follow my Instagram and TikTok. I feel I bad for the baby leopards. Wow, that was a crazy one. <laughs> yeah, it was like too funny at times. I loved it. Uh, yeah, I, I really do have to watch that that honey badger episode because like it, it's really been escaping my orbit for like the longest time. And I, I accidentally, um, on one of my earlier videos, I accidentally watched like a little bit of it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there was like a JoJo's reference, but the Howdy Badger bites this guy in the face. Yeah, that's that's just great. I love all these episodes. I, I hope you guys love them too. And I can't wait to put it up on there for you. So please like and subscribe if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content. And I'll see you all in the next video.